A stationary 10.0 kilogram bomb explodes into three pieces. The first piece, which we will call piece number one, is two kilograms and it moves west at 200 meters per second. We will assume that west is a negative direction. Another piece, which we will call mass two, moves north positive direction with a velocity of 100 meters per second and it has a mass of three kilograms. We want to find the velocity, the speed and direction of the third piece. The initial momentum of the bomb is zero. It is not moving. So the final, we're given the final momenta of two of the pieces. One is in the negative x direction, one is in the positive y. We know that we have to come up to a zero momentum at the end. So we need to take the opposite values of, the, of those momentum you combine them and you will find that particle 3 has to be heading off in this direction. Now we're going to do that with some algebra but let's just keep that picture in mind. So here's the math. Okay, P3 prime x, that's this guy's velocity in the x direction, has to be equal and opposite to P prime 1x. So you get a zero momenta in the zero direction, in the x direction. So that's going to be minus m1 v1 and that's going to be minus the mass of m1, 2 kilograms, and then the velocity is negative because it's moving to the west. So p prime 3 needs a velocity and a momentum in the positive x direction, and the momentum will be 400 kilogram meters per second. The y momentum is the opposite of the, this one right here from particle 2. So that's minus m2 v2. I put those numbers in and I get a negative 300 kilogram meters per second, which makes sense. That's your y component of this vector. Now I need to find the mass of this particle. Well, I know the total mass of the bomb right here was 10 kilograms. I subtract off the masses of the two pieces and I get five kilograms. So that's, we'll need that a bit later. I now need to find the total momentum of this third object. Well, it's going to be p3x prime plus p3y prime, square both, take the square root, and I get 500 kilogram meters per second. So this momentum here is 500 kilogram meters per second. To find the velocity, I will divide that mm -hmm. by mass three, which was found up here, and I get 100 meters per second is the velocity. All that remains now is to find the angle. And I find the angle theta, and let's just draw right here. This is the theta I'm trying to find. So that would be the tangent of P3y, that's this here, opposite, divided by P3x, and this angle will be 36.9 degrees. And you can either call it 36.9 degrees southeast of the x-axis, or you can just say negative 36.9 degrees. Either one works. So that's the final answer. That's the magnitude and that's the direction of the third piece.